So here we are in my front living room, ready to do a tool gadget type review on this little thing. This is the LAP Digital Multimeter and it's the DT660 model this time. Now about four or five years ago I did a review on a multimeter very similar to this one. They come from Screwfix. If you know anything about Screwfix, you'll know that LAP is their kind of brand. And the video did quite well, to be honest, on, on YouTube. I didn't expect anything to come of it. I don't do um, electrical work much, but multimeters do come in handy for what I do. Uh, you, you occasionally need to test things, test your batteries, uh, I do do a kind of little bits and pieces of repairs at home and stuff like that on, on like consoles and things like that but um, you do need a multimeter to test various different things on circuit boards etc etc. Having said that being able to test your voltages around the house or if you're out at work and things like that always comes in handy but like I said I don't do uh, a lot of electrical work so buying a cheap multimeter is where I am um, I'm not going to buy an expensive one am I uh, because I don't use them that much uh, but there you go so I did a review on one of these like I said about four or five years ago the video did quite well so I thought I'd give you an update on the new version of this um, comes in this lovely brown box which obviously tells you that it is just a um packaging ploy to tell you that they are now eco-friendly and just using plain brown boxes like amazon do um i think the previous one came in a well glossy type box with pictures and everything but now we've just got these printed pictures on the front of the box as you can see and you can immediately tell that it's a different multimeter boost by looking at the picture on the box so cost me about 9.99 i think less than a tenner um, not really that expensive um, but we're going to see how it goes we're going to get it in the box now and uh see see what you think of it um i'll tell you what i think of it uh i don't think they're that bad for this money this is this i've not really got this out of the box yet uh so we'll see what it's like shall we so here it is in the box uh, I'm just going to open it. I think you just open it like this and see what's inside the box like I said which I'm hoping there's going to be a multimeter inside this box so see how it fits. Oh dear not very easy to get into. Ah, there we go. Give it a good shake that's always a good Well, there's the multimeter. And compared to the other one, it, it's not as big. It's quite good, actually, handheld. Presumably, this does this rubber case come off this one? I don't know. Probably. Oh, it probably does, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. That was just the first impression. Does the rubber case off? Instruction book. There you go. Now, does it come with a battery? I'll be very, oh, it does come with a battery. Or oh, batteries, aha. Now, that's interesting, because normally it's a nine volt battery. Just let the camera focus. So these are the AAA type. So that tells me it's reduced voltage. So it's only got three volts in it. Self-explanatory, no doubt push it out of its case now oh, does one get the batteries in oh that's just a a stand now I thought that was the battery case cover it's nice just to stand so you can stand it up like that so presumably you need to undo the screw so we'll get a screwdriver now and just undo those 
And presto, hey, we have a screwdriver. I really don't know why they do this with this type of thing, our screwdriver type thing to take the back off. You can put the batteries in, you should really be able to just put batteries in without any faffing about with screwdriver because let's face it, you just want a quick change over don't you? And yes you've got the screws. Out. Oh. So we only really needed to undo the one screw. Lesson in life there, read the instructions first. But if you're dyslexic like me, you probably can't read so Gotta do the captain obvious thing. But I still don't understand why they put screws into them. Just put a clip on it for crying out loud. Make it easy for people. So they should just pull apart. There we go. On cheap batteries, these. Nothing expensive. Screw does not want to go in there, it goes in now. Then we could put the casing back on. There we go. Sticker on it says please remove. So do you think we should remove it? I think we should. Just for the fun of it. There we go, I've removed it. Now what? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> right. It's got some interesting things settings. Now what I do like about these these little probes is they've got this nice thick wire with them. Now some of these that you buy it's even got little um, caps for the end bits but how many people use those? So you can put that in there, so they're colour coded so you can't go wrong. Idiot proof really isn't it? And you got the black one in the common. There we go. So bog standard dial for your different um voltages obviously you go this way six hundred 200 volt, 20 volt, 2 volt, and then you got two 200 millivolts. Then you got all your ohms settings down here. Now, I wonder this should be the continuity. Now, I wonder if this one beeps because my last one didn't beep, um, it just gave a reading. But I, I've already heard that one beeping just by clicking the, the thing around. Will it be? Or is it just giving a? Uh, it just gives a little fluctuation. See what that does. Ah, oh, we've got a beeper on this one. You notice the uh, uh, little symbol there. Looks like the camera is focused, telling you the sound. So when you touch your probes together So that, that's good The other one didn't beep I don't know why it didn't beep I don't know whether it was faulty It just, just used to fluctuate Because you used to put it on That's normally your continuity one there And when you used to put your probes together It used to fluctuate like that And go back to OL so if you put it on that one there, so you got the beep. 
and you've got a little but button there to illuminate the display as well that's quite good so this has also got functions for 1.5 and 9 volt batteries as well so that's quite quite useful to have to test your batteries and then you've just got your amp and milliamps here so I'm just going to try something now so I don't know whether this will work or not because I could do with some uh, spade connectors but this is a new Dewalt 2 amp hour an hour um, 18 volt XR battery uh, it should be charged up well, it's, it's on 2 so it's nearly charged so probably need charging up and this is a Dewalt compatible battery there you go 3 lights charging up um, says it's 18 volts and 6 point uh, but no, I've noticed that the performance in this cheap battery is not the same so I'm going to do a little test on it to see if the voltage is the same so what we'll do is put it on so I've got it on 20 volt and I'm just going to compare these two now so it's not getting a correct reading what you could do with here is is just something to let's try that one in there we go so this one is you can see this or not so we can get it to this is why you could do with like a spade connector so there you go 18.7 volts so we could press hold there and that should hold the display 18.7 so that's that's a brand new battery um official dewalt type battery as well uh, the xr edition and now this is a cheap version of the same battery um, looks very similar to the Dewalt but it's it's not it's obviously it's just something I bought because I thought oh you know what I just need a spare battery so I'm gonna put this in and it, it immediately doesn't like it so could just do it, it won't even read it All right make contact please it's a very inconsistent that um, let's try this so a couple of screwdriver bits this should just give me enough to make the contact stronger this is how you know still doesn't like it the other way around so it does get a reading but not what you would expect the reading to be now these batteries do work on my drills but like I said they don't seem to perform in the same sort of it's going up to 19.8 but it's not holding it and that's kind of annoying so I'm just going to flip that up to 200 now right so now I'm getting 20.2 volts so you know that that has been advertised as an 18 volt battery and it's higher than what it should be so 
I'm going to cut those clicked in. Let's try that again. It's come back. It doesn't want to register on 20 volts, does that? There you go, 20.2 volts. So, that's a lot higher than what it should be, <coughs> seeing as how they're advertising. But again, it doesn't really perform the way it should. Right, so there you go. It just shows how incorrect these um, knockoffs, we're going to call it, are. Because it, it should be an 18 volt battery and it's not. But um, 20 volts. So that's not good. So there you go, guys. Um, just like a quick demonstration and test of what you get in there for your money um, simple handheld digital multimeter very simple to use has to be said uh, just done a few basic tests there with it and it's um, obviously with these batteries I just thought I'd give these a quick test to see whether they were were what they say they were so this one is like I said this one comes up at 18 volts this one's coming up at 20.2 and it should be 18 volts so there you go uh, did I get more for my money or did I get uh, duped a little bit it's like uh, but there you go it certainly doesn't last uh, long enough but uh, there you go so what do I think of this little meter I think it's all right um, it, 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 if the basic testing and doing a few jobs yourself uh, testing your voltages and what have you and your, your ohms and what have you and your continuity um, it's enough to pay for a little device like this and it, it's really nice to hold in your hand I mean I've got quite big hands there but it, it's just like um, a small walkie talkie you could say uh, so there you go so it has a big thumbs up from me um, it probably won't do if you're like an electrician or somebody like that you probably won't be very happy with, with all the functions on it um, but really for somebody who's just like DIY or just somebody who needs one in the toolbox to test voltages every now and again uh, like I do uh, it's probably ideal for what you want and it's enough to pay it's less than a tenner I don't know how much it will be at the time of going out but that there you go that is the LAP DT660 True RMS Digital Multimeter and like I said it's got a thumbs up from me it's got some right right batteries in it as well they're only the little AAA batteries uh, which normally you'd have a 9 volt battery in there uh, so yeah there you go thumbs up from me hope you got something out of this video today and uh don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and i'll catch you in another video soon guys thanks for watching